Hello guys and welcome to a new video today by me Vulcan. I have something a bit different today, a first look at a new and interesting game called Line War. This came to my attention by a PR email and I ended up asking for a couple of keys to try it out since it looked pretty good. I ended up playing a few games with Primus Pilus. Some of you might remember him from the Stir Division 2 community where he ran the multiplayer campaign. These days he writes articles for Cultured Vultures. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Either way, I had a lot of fun, and that's why I'm here today showing this off. No sponsor, I just like the game. So what's Line War? It's a multiplayer focused, real-time strategy game that focuses on drawing lines to simplify commands. It encourages the use of combined arms warfare of land, sea and air, and includes base building. But let's start from the top. The game currently has one game mode, that is one versus one. This can be played against other random opponents using a matchmaking queue, your friends using the challenge button, or you can take control of both sides in the sandbox mode designed to help players try out units and get familiar with the game. There is an option to watch tutorials which I definitely recommend if you plan to pick up the game. These are a series of video tutorials that go over most of the systems in the game and are actually pretty good and concise. I will go over some of the basic things in this video though. Jumping into a game. First, you have to choose a map and agree to play it with your opponent. Both players can roll for new randomly generated maps to play on and when one is found that both like, a pick and ban phase commences. Not for units or characters, but for territory. Choosing a good strategic place to start on the map is vital and often revolves around resource locations on the map. Each player picks their first territory. If both players pick locations within one tile of each other, the area gets banned and both players need to pick somewhere else. This process continues until each player has their unique starting location. Afterwards, let the game begin. I just want to say that the aesthetic may look off-putting to those who prefer more realistic settings, however I think the graphics actually lend themselves quite well to the implied simplicity of the game, making it easier to identify different types of units. Furthermore, it also means that the game can run well on a wide range of PCs, which offers a great strategy experience to many more people. But let's continue. At the start of the game, you'll want to spread out your soldiers and take territory. The more territory you have, the more capital income you get. Capturing territory with resource nodes in them is definitely a priority, as this can seriously boost your income as well. You do this by placing buildings on said nodes. There are two types of buildings overall, production and resource. The production buildings produce units you use and control. They are paid for by two types of resource, energy and capital, and this is where the resource buildings come in. The resource buildings are there to provide you with an income that keeps your production going and helps you run heavier units like tanks and aircraft with energy. But once you have these units, how do you control them? Well this is where Line War is really unique. You draw lines by holding left click. The lines designate a path for units that are assigned to it. No dragging selection and right clicking, no no no, you draw a line. This initially may sound simple, but the changing control systems and learning the keybinds turned out to be a bit of a handful to start with. Q, W, E, R and T are your primary commands that designate a point, line, path, target and disband command respectively. Out of these, the point, line and path command can be accompanied by a directive. This determines whether the lines indicate an engage, move or defensive command. The engage directive makes the line like an attack move command and troops will engage the enemies as they come across them. Move orders will prioritise movement over attacking and the defensive directive used with the line command creates a fortified line that your units will try and entrench. This gives them a defensive bonus. You can then adjust which units are using which commands either before you give the command or after by clicking on the command and changing the units. With that all being said, you can see how it becomes a bit more technical, but I found even by the third or fourth game it began to feel more intuitive. 
The game does help by selecting recommended troop types when drawing new commands, and you can easily reset all selections by pressing space. B or the delete button will remove any selected commands on the map. Speaking of troop types, there are currently 16 different units in the game. On the ground, these include infantry, commandos, artillery, tanks, and anti-air. In the air, you have helicopters, interceptors, strikers, bombers, and transport planes. Finally, on the sea, there is landing craft, submarines, destroyers, missile ships, cruisers, and merchant ships. Each have their own roles, as well as strengths and weaknesses, and making sure you hover and learn this is an important part of the game, so I'd recommend doing so in the sandbox mode. Taking time to also learn about the 14 different buildings will also help you optimise which you should make, and especially pay attention to the launch pad that can produce some very deadly rockets, as I rudely found out. Thanks Primus. Using all of this knowledge of units, buildings and commands, the ultimate objective is to completely annihilate your enemy. Currently, it is encouraged to surrender if you know you are losing games, since it can extend the game for an unreasonable amount of time otherwise. Other win conditions like territory control are planned in the future though. And that's about all I have for you for now. I think the game has amazing potential, and you'll likely see me playing it on stream sometime. I'll also consider making some gameplay videos too if you guys show support on this video. But Line War is out now, and the devs have stated that the current price point represents the content in the game, with the intention of raising the price when more features are added, so it may be worth getting early on if you're interested. There are plans in the future for single player game modes, but for now Line War is almost exclusively multiplayer, with features such as technologies and aircraft carriers being prioritised first. The devs also stated that they'd like to bring 2v2, 3v3 and free-for-all game modes. All of this can be found on their roadmap that I'll leave a link to in the description. One thing I actually found on their website was that they designed the game with esports in mind, which excites me from a casting perspective. Always good to have more competitive strategy games. But that's it, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this brief look at Line War. And check out the Steam page and their website if you'd like more information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.